Hello everyone, so in this video I want to show you how to author a script whose intent would be to look, let's say, at all the components of your model, all the properties within your model, and to rename um, the property with a component name. Uh, this is needed for some solvers started in 2022 because we are moving from the components in order to replace them for parts. Uh, which has some benefits for instantiating parts together for better model assembly workflow. And um, as a first step, uh, the components may be, uh, will be dismissed. This is already the case for Abacus, or they're not used anymore for uh, generating some EL sets uh, behind the scene for, um, for Abacus. The EL sets are done on the property. So one Possible step on one recommended step is to rename the property with a component name. So let's see how we can do it uh, with TCL. So let me first show you what should be the um, flow of the script. So we should create a loop for each component so that uh, for each component we check if the component has a direct or indirect assignment, which means is a property directly uh, referred into the component when looking at the component attributes or in hypermesh um, or is the property directly assigned to the element and in that case we're speaking about indirect assignment because the component itself does not have directly the information about the property. Then whether we have a direct or indirect assignment, we will retrieve the property ID and the property name. And if the property name is different from the component name, we will rename the property with the component name. So I have already authored uh, this script for this video. I won't create it back from scratch. Uh, I just want to comment it. So let me move to the left hand side from my text editor. First line is for uh, selecting the entity, create mark panel, comes one, which means I will have a GUI in order to select all my components of interest. Uh, it could be replaced by a star create mark, comes one, all, for instance, if I know that in every case I want all my components to be selected. Then, as usually, I will store my the content of my mark into a TCL list using set. The comp list will be the name of my list, HM get mark components one. And once I have this uh, TCL list, I can use a for each statement. So for each component comp from the mark comp list, first step is I will get the component name using HM get value. So HM get value comes, I will identify it with um, the component ID and I will ask for the attribute name. And then I will try to get the property ID um, from the still with the HM get value uh, asking for the data name property. This will return me a null, a null value only if I have direct assignment, which is why I follow uh, these two commands with a script, which is with a, a test, which is if the property ID is equal to zero, so if it is not a direct assignment, then I will ask for the elements that are uh, belonging to the component. And here I will uh, ask for HM get value elements, and I will ask for property ID. One of the key points here is I don't want to um, create a list, then ask for the first element of the list. So I'm asking for mark equal one into HM get value, which means let's say I have 10 elements in my components and they are assigned with property one. Then I the output of this uh, HM get value elements mark equal one that name equal property ID will be one 10 times because I have 10 elements in my mark which is one, two, three, so you, you see the ID and which is the reason why I uh, use the L sort minus unique in order to come back to a single value to be stored in property ID. 
And then I have a final check, which is if the property ID is different from zero. And if the property name, again, I'm querying with HM get value on the property this time, not on the component or elements, ID being equal to property ID. And I'm requesting for the name of the property. And also if this property name is different from the component name, then I can rename um, the property with the valid, uh, with the original component name. And then your macro is done. So uh, I won't run it on this model or I can run it on, uh, let's say, a sim simple section. Um, so let me, let me save it again. Uh, copy to clipboard. Full pass, let me go to file, load script. Um, and let me select. So I will have a selector here. Let me select the first component, maybe. Let me sort it by ID. I will pick the five. First components, for instance, uh, hit on OK, validate. And now if I store my, or if I reorganize my entities by ID, um, if I look to the information here, now the property um, name is correct for um, either same than the component name for these five first components. So here's what's for this TCL uh, script. Hope this helps. See you later for another video.